Hello, welcome to another how-to video. My name is Dave Davis, CTO of DVS, uh, sponsored by Seagate Technologies, you can see there. Um, thanks for this lovely, lovely North Face uh, gilet that you provided. Um, we're going to quickly take a look at the new 50 times PTZ. Uh, it's the DS-2DF8250IX-AELW. So it's 50 times zoom with the optical image stabilization. Absolutely amazing product. And it's also got the laser IR. So first we'll begin by drinking our ceremonial coffee. There's nothing like waking up with a ceremonial coffee in the morning. Mm -mm -mm. A nice shot of that. Thank you for the ceremonial coffee, Hike Vision. So quickly we'll take a look. So if you go into main view, so the PTZ is currently set to look at our main entrance gate there. So if I go to preset two and call that, you'll see now it'll turn around and look at a smokestack. It's still relatively low light level out there. So you know, winter is coming, um, although it's five past seven, the light level out there is not fantastic. But you'll see there the PTZ is looking at a smoke tower, um, which is about 600 meters line of sight from where we are currently at DVS HQ in Cardiff. Um, the smoke tower is quite high. It's quite a, a, you know, a landmark if you see it driving down the road. What we'll do now is if we zoom all of the way out, So that's where our compound is. That's where the smoke tower is. You can actually see there it is quite far away. If we go back on that, call the preset, it'll go up to the uh, working platform up there. It will stabilize and it will auto focus. Uh, during the daytime, the image is uh, very, very good on that. What you'll notice as well is if we call preset free and look at the junction at the end of our road. So. The wind is starting to pick up there, even though this is ground level, you can see the leaves are starting to blow. You can actually see the, the wind blowing the trees there. This PTZ is fitted nine meters high, or, well, 8.5 meters high on an Ultron column. Whilst that is bolted to the floor, it isn't a terrifically stable um, tower. It's not one that you would use uh, particularly in say a town center environment. This is just sort of the lamppost style, which is as high as we could get it. And um, we fitted that and it is, Whilst, again, whilst it's not ever going to fall over, when the wind blows, you definitely know about it. Now, the PTZ is looking at the end of the junction there. The gyroscope in the OIS is working extremely well. So inside the lens assembly, there's a gyroscope. So as the PTZ moves, it tries to stabilize the image. You can see there the optical image stabilization is actually turned on and it's doing a fantastic job. If a car or person or object uh, walk past our field of view, you'd be able to clearly identify that. Um, it's going to time out and go back to our preset position. So this is the normal preset position to cover our entrance gateway uh, when we're not here. We can also, so the, there's the optical image stabilization just uh, calibrating itself. What we can also do is zoom all the way out. So let's turn it around. Now see this water tower over here, or even this smokestack over here, another uh, energy site. We can actually use the um, 3D positioning. Click on that, draw a box, and I'll zoom in up there. There we go, so that's focus now. Again, um, there is a little bit more zoom to go on up, but that's looking at the top of an extremely tall smokestack. And you could see there, if there was workers up there, you'd be very confident that you'd be able to monitor them safely um, with not feeling seasick with the PTZ blowing around like an idiot. So we are seeing a massive uptake in um, this technology purely because of the, the uh, image stabilization, especially in windy areas like uh, airports, uh, town centers, industrial areas like this. And a quick one, if you want to turn this technology on, if you go to the device management, if you go to remote configuration, you'll see now on the latest IMS 4200 and the latest firmware of the products, you've got two options, general and advanced. General will redirect you to the web port. So if you're having trouble with it not being able to go in via when you click on general and your remote it's probably because you haven't port forwarded port 80 
PT if it's not open. Um, if you go to PT or image, image enhancement, you've got EIS still, which we turn off. You've got OIS, so you've got off, normal, and expert. Because this is fitted on a nine meter column, I, I actually use expert and turn it up to the highest. So you've got the, you can actually calibrate this yourself. Um, or you can set it to normal and it takes that away and we'll just set it to expert and that's saved and click on main view again and call preset one so yeah that's the 50 times ptz folks hope you found it interesting again if you want to know more about that technology give us a shout contact our sales team or our technical team or me however you want to contact us uh, enjoy the week ahead keep liking sharing commenting making suggestions and we'll see you for the next how-to video next week thanks for watching cheers guys